What's got you guys saying? Say what? Awesome. This 
You know what I mean? Uh, so that's, that's one thing that's got to be said. What? <laughs> and now? <clears throat> well, um, I have all the same say what's as all of you all, and then and then some. You know, um, what I'm really really concerned about is why are we being so fragile around white cis rich men? Why are we coddling them? Why are we like, oh, you're awesome too? Oh, you're awesome too? Uh, we don't need to do that. <laughs> We don't need to do that when all of our, all of us, black and brown and indigenous folks are cooking your meals, raising your children, you know, ma making your highways, building your bridges, doing all of that work, writing your stories. Then we have to go to your schools, and you have, and then you teach us. The lead they have, the more voice they, the lead they have, the more uh, we speak positive thoughts into them, and we teach them, and we mold them. We can mold them into these. these these politicians, we can mold them into these these presidents. You know, um, we don't have to follow their, the old status quo, or you know, let's, we have to go to these Ivy League schools and do this and do that. You know, we gotta figure out how to get it done on our own sometimes, man. You know, like she, you know, she, she's putting her way through school. My mom and myself, we put my way through school. My brother's way. You know, we, we, there's a will, there's a way. So at the end of the day, you know, with, with the community being involved. Um, and we just need to kind of support each other and, you know, uh, help, you, help, your, help your fellow brother out, man. And, uh, you know, 
the efforts with the children, the same thing. You know, just kind of uh, always promoting that positive energy and, and you know, teach these kids that they can be kings and not just customer service workers. You know what I mean? Like, we're more than just that. You know? Jump on out now. What do you think? Well, um, I like the way where this conversation is going, and I'm glad that you know at the very beginning we talked about you know owning a building, you know that your your Benz is going to go away, all these other things, are, you know. But I'm a realtor, which is a whole other thing. <laughs> um, but there's a reason why I became a realtor. Let me like for real. I was actually an educator for 11 years. I was a teacher, an English teacher, um, and I taught and taught, and then I was a school administrator. And but I would come home to my wife, poor thing. She had to deal with me like. All depressed like every day and like tired and I didn't get to do my art and, and um, one day I came home and I was like I can't anymore I, I am totally empty like I just couldn't I was really sad and she said quit and we have two daughters um, and I was like oh crap okay so I quit and I was like I gotta do something and to become a realtor, I was like, well, I can, you know, it was like this, well, I can just make my own hours, but then I'm going to have to hustle, like, a lot um, and figure this out. And uh, so I did. And I remember one site I asked Rosie Castro, who is the mother of Julian and uh, Joaquin, but before she was really Rosie Castro, a badass activist. And, you know, she was amazing. And I asked her in the beginning of my career as a realtor, I was like, man, I feel like, like, I'm just, like, thrown in with, like, this developers, you know, like, that gross feeling of, like, being a realtor, and I'm really an activist. And she said, you have to build wealth in our community. Because you have to have money to pay for those politicians, for their campaigns, to get people through school, to lend money to the nonprofits, to buy the books for the schools that you need to donate. You need to build wealth in your community. And then I learned about that whole idea of just realizing that we didn't, we didn't have financial education. We weren't taught how to go to a bank. We weren't taught how to save, where to save, what to do, what to put your money in. And that was a big deal for me, you know? And now it feels nice to be able to say, you know what, let me give this organization this money. Let me give them this painting. Let me, it feels good to be able to do that and not be like, no, I can't because I, I gotta, you know, we gotta buy groceries because of the girls and then they're, you know, I'm saving for them to go to college and our daughters. And it's, it is good and it's great and important that we can say that we want to make money and not feel shame in it. And we want to make money to give back and to, re you know, just to continue to do that. Um, so I really believe in that piece of the activism is building wealth in our community, it is a part of activism. We cannot pretend like this is not a, a world made of money and we need to buy things and to eat and to pay rent or buy our home so that we can contribute to our neighborhood. It's very important. There is not an ounce of deceit in what you just said because we have to empower ourselves and I like when you brought that into the discussion. We have to make ourselves stronger. I thank you for that, I appreciate that. Absolutely. <laughs> to the past. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? How are we going forward? Who's got the mic? Dre, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said, how are we holding on to our past? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if, we, if we're holding on to our past, I think it's a good thing. How do we, how do we move forward? Is, all, is the past in our own way? Speak to that. I mean, um, like, okay, if we're not getting, okay, we're told, we told all y'all need to get over. Old, this happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Uh, get past it. Is that the right attitude? Do we need? Are we, are we holding on to something that's, that's uh, preventing us from moving forward? Um, uh, or are we the ones that get to decide that we don't? Um, it doesn't just uh, when one thing moves. I'm gonna just say the man <laughs> uh, finds ways to mold it into another thing. So, as you see, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just give a quick story. Like when I was uh, about eight years old, uh, my mother was really uh, active in Chicago, and we went to the liquor store slash corner store, whatever, and I don't know if y'all heard